Epic in the space to get up close and take that frag. The spike planted as well. Now leaves FPX on a back foot. And when you look at the HP in play, as Hitman and Artist both one hit or very close to, depending on the weapon. This is going to be a tough one with FPX having to root these players out of the corners and look at second go. He has blitzed his way, the fast rotation all the way around to Art. Now gives them a, even more angles to play with. Running out of time, the flash and eye on perfect, and it leaves Saigetsu all alone. One versus three, and that said, the clock now ticking. Decent peak coming. Oh, he manages to get a couple! Control of the back cubby, and now they even get the ult through to secure the space, the information, and get a plant. Looked a little bit dicey, but Angel being able to find one back in. As said, they've got the screen ready to try and get in on the retake, but Exet are actually playing in front of it. They're making sure they can get up and close in these fights, and the trades are going relatively well. Back into a 2v2 scenario. Aaron, it's a bit of a whiff, though. And now Cryo left in the clutch situation to try and turn this back around, knowing at least where one of the players are, but he's got to be careful. He is slowly being flanked. to check it halfway already they're sticking it fully the swing is there but no shot he can't even get the trick pretty easy plan well looks like plan's going to be coming through but this is the heavier side of the map and a power noia buys them a bit of space spam through from angel denies any retreat for zekin good kill they've got to worry about cryo but they've more than enough manpower to watch it taking him down is a different story getting on that spike not possible without dealing with cryo and he's gone Aaron and BCJ, both on the same angle, both having to take these fights together. Those shots are close. They're doing Whoa! damage, and BCJ finishes Angel off at last. Gonna, a TP going through fairly early, so that's actually going to mean that Angel will be here in time, just trying to hold on to the U-Haul in the back lines, but he's been taken out by Zekin. He was trying to stay away from that flash, but it was just a little bit too precise. Exet picking up the kills and the scythe. And with this, it looks like they have finally found that weakness. It really looks like they're looking to try and pincer further into mid, but they're so prepared. These defaults from Exit are catching every single piece until Xiao comes along. He's going to at least throw down that Nightfall to slow them a little bit. But he has made this round look doable once again. No. And our position's been too hard to root out, and he's just relocated entirely. They cannot deal with Xiao. He's always good for one, two, or now three with the final man of death. Left. Oh, he's hurt. He's been hurt. Artis, he has the timing and he Ooh. misses a whiff that could cost him. Ah. But oh. no, he'll oh. follow up ever to a level that I don't think many people in the world can. Artis, oh. the timing could not be better. Cypher on his way up behind. They are watching it periodically, and Aaron's now only supposed to be watching that, but he has to put down some stars, and that's when Artis comes through the smoke looking the wrong way. He didn't clear it. He was looking for the rest of the team, and instead, he's left Xiao alone. Three kills needed, and this time, it will not. And now, FPX actually have the man advantage. The wall bang attempt. Oh, it was just a second too late. Angel, he must have been moving at the speed of light. And this fight's getting awkward. Xiao still surviving in the back corner. Saigetsu's managed to trade another out, and it's now left all on to Aaron. He's been the man in the back lines a lot of the time, setting up that squad, but now they need him to stop this from going to an equalized scoreline. Trapped behind the cage, he has the lineup ready to try and deny anything on the defuser, but they have a decent idea of where he's going to be already. The grab ball gets one, but... They've got trap wire still to break left. through, and with Artis posted up on this angle, if they're not cautious on the way in, they could get tripped up, and there you go! The wall bank potential is there, so gets who's the one to deliver! And times two's it! Artis still on the back to be rooted out, and they are picking up every single kill. Yeah, trap behind all the util as well. It will be deaf to at least 5-1! A nice correction! He might even have time to get the plant in, but I think he's heard the footsteps. He's waiting for the kill, and while <laughs> shout utility online for a little bit over on the FPX camp, and that's just going to delay them even further. Good snake bite, though. Death is in trouble, right. but he hits the shot. Yeah, he only stays aggressive so that the null command actually takes out the utility, so the retake can't have the screen. And while now Zipan looking to just try and take the fire. And a lot of the action, so. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay! It seems like we, we are kind of a moment's breath within this series already. Zipan will be able to get one, and well, the sliding in from Zekin isn't going to get anything more. He doesn't expect Aaron, though. Yeah, good crunch. Zekin, of course, coming in just to fight with Aaron. Can potentially isolate this duel on death, and look at the distraction coming through. Xiao. Oh, well, he actually hits the shot. This man's not a distraction. Sagetsu left alive. He's been spotted and taken down. 
X set pulled the right way. They found this man Cryo, and now he's got 30 HP being swung on. Good night and sweet dreams. An attempted follow push, perhaps. Zekin close to the smoke. He could dash out at any moment, but with death falling, the angles left. decrease. Spike All these players planted. coming from the spawn now, and FPX have the weaponry advantage. They've lost Angel, at least one man down, and HP gone on Sagetsu and Hardis. This could come down to the cost, even, if they can just find a couple of kills. That's a great stun from Zekin. And the follow-up could be there as well. This guy's on fire. Zipan will try to deal with him and nade into an empty position, and BCJ swings to delete him. The last man alive is Xiao, again to try and clutch it, but BCJ wins the battle. And that's a big problem. The amount of control that's been taken. Zekin, I, I think he might have just spotted out a pixel, so sees the Prowler back. coming through, but goes back for more, and this time he's shut out. What a lunatic. I love it. It's worked a lot of the time, but this time around, the punish is there. X set now, sectioned out. Death has a nade at his feet. A paranoia dodge, though. He might be able to catch them with this swing, but, uh, well, he's being swung on himself. Too much control for FBX. They've already owned the entire map with a double from Artis. This one's all but done. BCJ. He's had some fantastic Spike clutches planted. so far this game, but <laughs> the one for Second FBX stand. right oh, now. And it's going to be in position for all of this time, and well, it, go it goes quite a bit better when Zekin isn't at the door anymore. Aaron, though, now he is being that little bit more aggressive, but he's with spot. That still gets away with one, and the what? trades again from BCJ. The man is just unkillable. Down to just 9 H from spawn. He's now posted just as they emerge. And there's the shot. Zip band down. Sagetsu left. 10 seconds and no shot. <laughs>